Drivers say almost every teenager in America has access to a cell phone at pretty much any given moment. But how well do you really know the apps your child is using? While many of them have many different functions, some aren't always safe. Tonight, 10 News reporter Arisha Jones joins us in studio with a look at which apps you need to watch out for and how you can step, step in to protect your child in the future. Arisha? Well, have you heard of apps like Calculator, Whisper, and Hot or Not? Most parents haven't, and you don't know how they work or if your child is using it on their phones. Even some popular apps, such as Instagram, allows people to use them anonymously or create fake profiles, and that can make them dangerous to use. It could be danger on the other side of the screen. Stories of teens across the country put in harm's way all because of someone they were communicating with online. He hasn't found his place in this world and he's just vulnerable. This man's son was lured from Alabama to Houston. This woman in New York murdered by someone she met online. Their stories are connected by the online gaming app called Discord. So basically it's designed for people to play the game together and then simultaneously they have the Discord app running to talk to each other. Virginia Tech professor James Ivory researches the effects of virtual environments. Any messenger app where you can create an account that's not tied to your real identity can be abused. And in this case, this one is as well. This gaming club at Virginia Western Community College moderates and sets rules for those using Discord. We've never really had any problems with people like being dangerous or anything, but if it, if it were to happen, we, we can kick them off the server ban them. Other apps such as 4chan allows users to anonymously post images. Telenim lets users anonymously ask questions of strangers. Parents in Roanoke say it's these types of social media apps that should be on your radar. You may trust your children and you may feel like you have guidelines for them, but it's the others that are out there that you don't know anything about and what are they doing? You know, how are they luring them? Earlier this year, a Covington family claims a public school employee sent a sexual message to their 15 year old son on the dating app Grinder. A Roanoke teen says she limits what she puts on social media for her safety. You shouldn't really have people, everybody knowing what, like, what's going on with your business. Keep your business to yourself. Parents say it's important to make sure your children know who they're talking to online. If you see somebody physically, you might know of a reason not to trust them. Like maybe the way they're dressed or the way they carry themselves. But social media, you don't have that visual instinct that protects you. Parents can track their child's social media activity on 24 different social apps by downloading the app called Bark. It allows parents to get alerts of inappropriate activities in real time. There are several different apps we couldn't include in this story, but you can find an extensive list of the apps to be aware of on our website at WSLS.com. In studio, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.